Rachel. I am an environmental educator at Sea Turtle Inc. Sea Turtle Inc. is a nonprofit organization and Sea Turtle Hospital in South Padre Island, Texas. Today we have a very special treat for you. We are going to be doing a patient release. So we're actually going to be releasing three of our patients back to the wild now. We're actually walking out with the turtles right now into the bay. So we're currently walking out here by the convention center. So we're just gonna walk out. We're going to find the seagrass beds. They're pretty close since the tide's out pretty far. And we're going to be releasing these animals. These three are Atlantic green sea turtles and they are all juveniles. Now we release them in the bay as that's where they primarily like to hang out. There's a ton of seagrass, so they actually come to this area just to feed. And so when we release our patients back, we'll release them into the bay. It's also pretty shallow, so it's pretty much safe from predators, which is great. So we're super excited to be releasing three of these turtles back out into the wild. That will bring our total patient count, I believe, to seven. So we had 10 turtles and now we'll have seven. Now the three patients we're releasing are Danger, Monday Blues, and Luna. Monday Blues and Luna were both found in April, stuck in the rocks at the jetties. And Danger actually just came in a couple weeks ago in mid-June. He was found lethargic just north of Axis 6 here on the island. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I will let our vet tech Nina kind of dictate who goes first, but you'll see we have three of our patients here. So I'll get a little closer. So here we have Cami, she's one of our summer interns and she'll be releasing Monday Blues. So everyone say bye-bye. And there goes Monday Blues. So you can actually see a ton of the seagrass here. So they'll be able to eat and swim out uh, to the deeper parts of the bay. He's hanging out pretty close here. And then up next we have Luna, who's found by Maggie. She's getting released. You can see her gorgeous shell there in that seagrass. <laughs> She's swimming through it. Might have to give her a little turnaround so she goes the right way. <laughs> we don't want her going into the shallower part of the bay. of the bay here and you can actually see Luna right there uh, Monday Blues is right over there we do like to watch to make sure they make it out a little further and then lastly we have Danger over here so Chris is our rehab specialist and he'll be releasing Danger so everyone say bye to Danger some patients that upon release immediately start eating so that's pretty cool sometimes to see there he goes Laura asked if we can track them uh, we give them a pit tag which goes into their flipper it's a unique ID number so if they ever wash back up or if they nest anywhere in the world we're able to track them or not track them but identify them so we can't track them satellite tags are really bulky and quite expensive so they're reserved for mostly adult sea turtles oh we just got a goodbye breath over there so we'll we call them goodbye breaths because they have to come up every few minutes to take a breath and it's cute to see their little heads they can see little heads looking out and it's just there dangerous hanging out here he could be munching already another goodbye breath back there if you saw that and there's danger he's still pretty close right over there making his way 
out into the deeper parts of the bay. Well, and there you all go. We know it's pretty sharp. I want to get them back out into the wild as soon as possible. We don't like to hold them as it stresses them out when we're holding them. If you have any questions, please type them into the comments below. I'll be in a little bit later to answer any questions uh, you might have. Thank you so much for tuning into this Facebook Live and supporting us as always. Thank you.